you can support me by following my channel. Superchange is coming to Tesla superchargers so they'll work with other EVs. The time has come to end the Tesla supercharger exclusivity, thanks to the recently passed bipartisan infrastructure law. Following pilot programs in certain parts of the world, Tesla is planning on expanding its Tesla supercharger functionality to non-Tesla owners in the near future, according to a fact sheet recently published by the White House. The expansion is part of a number of new private enterprise initiatives inspired by President Biden's recently passed bipartisan infrastructure law. Given Tesla operates over 1,000 supercharger locations in the US, the move should rapidly expand available charging coverage for non-Tesla EV owners. According to the White House fact sheet, Tesla is expanding production capacity of power electronics components that convert alternating current to direct current, charging cabinets, posts and cables, and later this year, Tesla will begin production of new supercharger equipment that will enable non-Tesla EV drivers in North America to use Tesla superchargers. Based on Tesla's existing European pilot programs, Tesla would charge non-Tesla owners a fee to use the supercharger network. The move is part of President Biden's bipartisan infrastructure law, which promises to establish a national electric vehicle infrastructure formula program to provide funding to states to strategically deploy electric vehicle EV, charging infrastructure and to establish an interconnected network to facilitate data collection, access, and reliability. Previously, the White House has announced a goal of building a nationwide network of 500,000 EV chargers over the next few years. Tesla isn't the only company expanding US charging coverage, according to the fact sheet. ChargePoint is expanding its facilities to produce up to 10,000 direct current fast chargers and 10,000 level 2 chargers per year by 2026. Volkswagen and Siemens have newly invested up to $450 million into Electrify America for deployment of up to 10,000 ultra-fast chargers at 1,800 charging stations. Siemens has also invested in a wireless charging startup, Michigan-based FLO will produce up to 30,000 chargers by 2028, and Tennessee-based Tritium will also manufacture up to 30,000 fast charger units annually starting next year. There's also a big need for training a workforce to be able to install and maintain all these new chargers. The International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers IBW, will train 10,000 of their members through the Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Training Program EVIT, this year, and the National Electrical Contractors Association NECA, is preparing nearly 4,000 of its member companies for charging installation know-how, according to the White House fact sheet.